Hello everybody and welcome to another Nail Talk Live. As you can see, we are not all together because unfortunately Jessica wasn't able to be here today. No. And it's a little bit storming here in the Netherlands. It is, yeah. We've had a cold and wet week behind us. Oh yeah, yeah terrible. Yeah. It's typically well, Dutch. Well, it's it nice is. to sit at home and watch television mm -hmm. or watch Nail Talk Live. And today it's all about natural nails. What can we do with natural nails? How can we reinforce natural mm -hmm. nails? And what kind of products are the ideal match for every single natural nail? And we're going to talk about... Seal and Protect. Seal and Protect, which yes. enhances and strengthens the nail from the inside. Yeah, it's a beautiful product. A a great product yeah. and a patented product mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about rubber bases rubber bases yeah. also perfect for adhesion absolutely yeah for every kind of nail form you want to place yeah, yeah absolutely and for the non-filing technique yeah. as katarina also will show us absolutely yeah we also have a little bit of art yeah so yeah. we're gonna get started Start So it's all about short nails, natural nails, and these short nails are really the trend at the moment, huh? Yeah, yeah, and I'm happy to, because it's actually a very nice way to play with uh, yeah, your profession, because yeah. we, uh, we're going to use the natural nail. So normally we all, uh, we, I think it's a fantasy and unicorns because we want to make long nails, but this is actually very nice, the short nail. The, the short the, yeah. the nail, the nail, the natural nail, and uh, uh, um, um, how to take care of it how to take care of the natural mm -hmm. nail, how to strengthen the nat natural nail. Perfect. Because, of course, a client loves when her natural nails grow by nature to yeah. the desired length. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can we say that long nails, extreme nails, are perhaps a little bit passé? Unfortunately, I have to say it, they are, yeah. I hope they come back uh, well, eventually. Everything comes back. Yeah, but for me, they're not passé, but yeah, on my most clients, and I think clients everywhere in every studio, they are... Yeah, only on shorties, mm -hmm. shorties, 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 shorties. Yeah, that's yeah. only. Yeah. Why do we think that these natu the short natural nails are so popular? Uh, so that's a good question. Yeah, I think it's in quick. Uh, in, in my time, you went to the nail studio and you paid for nails and you wanted to see no. that there were nails. Well, yeah. especially especially in this Corona time, when uh, people weren't able to get to the nail salon. They um, removed their nails, mm -hmm. and when they came back, they say, "Well, don't make them too long because true, eh, it was it's better for me to have them short." Th so yeah. I think there um, was a big change in that point. Yeah, but the change already took place before. Yeah, but yeah. nowadays yeah. it's uh, like only shorty, shorty, shorty. Mm. So yeah. I think it's that's trendy. It's really trendy yeah, now. Trendy. If yeah. you have long nails, they say, "Oh my God, no, that's too long. I want shorties yeah. and natural-looking nails." So. Well, they like it on us, the long nails, yeah. but for themselves, they say, no, yeah. too long through. Are short nails perhaps also in the mind of the clients perhaps more hygienic? No. Uh, that's well, not what I, feel. I want to say yes, but I think no. no. I, I don't think that's the problem. No. 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 no, and it's maybe because uh, a lot of women with work and little children, uh, they think it's more handy to have them short also. And not to have long nails. It's too lot of work. And I think. Well, I also have to agree One that ever since I wear my natural nails, mm -hmm. it is so comfortable yeah, that's when true. typing yeah, or when true. doing homework. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, but yeah. for me, it's the total opposite. Totally. When I have them off, like uh, a couple of yeah. weeks ago, uh, everything fell down. And uh, yeah. I had bumped my nails like all the time. And then I put them on and I was like, oh, that's mine. Mm. So I think it's something that you have to be used to wearing yeah. all the time. And I'm used to yeah, it for 23 years, so... Only length, only length. Yeah, mm. but it's a trend. It's a trend. Everybody loves short nails. Well, it's a trend that started with the gel polish yeah. uh, revolution, yeah. of That's course, in absolutely. 2010. Yeah. And it slowly started because the nails became shorter and yep. shorter mm -hmm, and shorter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, what mi I mentioned before, the clients take pride in wearing their natural nails. Yeah, that's yeah. true also. Uh, with color or mm -hmm. with a transparent product. Yeah. Yeah. But talking about that, of course, we have the trend of short nails that are colored. Mm -hmm. And we have the, net the trend of natural nails looking super natural. Yeah. Is that the same client, in your opinion? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's the same nail stylist, so mm -hmm. I I'm, I'm already sure. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, well, 
it's, it's, I think the trend is the natural nail, just the, uh, uh, the nude coloring. That's the trend. And I think more older people like me, they want yeah. to have color on it. So I think that's uh, it's a separate audience. Well, not totally there with you, Astris, because I have clients who wear them with color, but also without course, color, so the natural. It it's can be. depends on how they feel. Yeah, it can be. So with this weather, th last week I had... Can so you hear yeah, it? It's yeah. true, <laughs> but it's true. A lot of clients say, well, I'm in a mood, I don't know what I want, so don't put anything on, leave them natural. And when it's like nice weather, they're going to say, oh my God, I want some neon colors or uh, uh, something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's... I think that's so also a thing that will the you can combine psychology it. Psychology of, of the moment yeah, and of yeah. the the, the Mood season. changes of people. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's an interesting uh, thing to think about. Mm. Um, natural nails itself, uh, people with only natural nails, mm. without reinforcement, can they also be a possible target audience in the nail studio? Yes, of course. When you, uh, when you want to use Seal and Protect, I think it's perfect. Because then you're really strengthening the nails from the inside. Yeah. And you cannot see any uh, artificial product. So uh, I think it's a whole new group of uh, clients. Yeah, and also for manicure, of course. Uh, for manicures, for manic of, yeah. of course, yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. and the manicuring manicure. services. Yeah, yeah. Manicure, manicure services. Yeah. 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 Manicuring yeah. services, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is the Seal and Protect? Well, that's a natural nail strengthening product, and it's only getting into the well fourth, fifth layers of the own nails. So mm -hmm. it's not a really artificial product, but it really enforces your own nail. So it strengthens the natural nail. So it's a professional nail strengthener. Yeah. 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 That's also why we call it uh, what we call it. But why do we mention professional, Shirisa? Uh, yeah, because we are working with it's uh, a fluid acrylic actually, and uh, you have to know exactly how you have to use it, because if you use it in the wrong way, it doesn't uh, do anything for your nails. Now you have to yeah. do the ap application in the right way, because yeah. when you go into the That's cuticle important. area, then you can, yeah. uh, of course, get a... An Cross uh, allergies. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. It is still an acrylate-based form form yeah. formulation, yeah. and it's actually patented by Magnetic Nail Design. It's a product that we have now for, I think, about five or six years, mm -hmm. and we developed the product as a a counterpart to the gel polish surface yeah, yeah. on several ways. On the one hand, you <coughs> want to be able to use it as a base layer yeah. because it really promotes adhesion. Yeah. Yeah. For every kind of nail product yeah. you want yeah. to use. You so can use any nail yeah. product on top of it and it will have the best, the strongest adhesion possible if used correctly. And you can also use it as a natural nail strengthener, yes. as yeah. we mentioned. Yes. And then it strengthens from within the natural nail mm -hmm. itself. Yeah. You can compare prepare it a little bit to, for instance, a nail hardener. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, when we go to the shops, to the retail shops, yeah. and we want to buy a nail hardener, mm -hmm. is it still an effective product? I don't think so, because in the back in the days, it was uh, filled with formaldehyde. Yeah. And nowadays, that's a very uh, um it's forbidden, forbidden product. Yeah. So, And I think that pro uh, ingredient was the thing that made the nail strong. Yeah. So I don't really know <coughs> if they have kind the <coughs> same ingredient like the uh, serum no, protect. Nothing works as good as the formaldehyde yeah. does. But mm. the problem with formaldehyde is that it's now banned from cosmetics yeah. because also formaldehyde created a lot of uh, risks of allergies mm -hmm. and it actually did its work too good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because formaldehyde, <coughs> like seal and protect, creates networks in the natural nail. Mm -hmm. But it continues bringing yeah. those yeah. Uh, networks and it, the natural nails, because clients always want to have harder natural mm -hmm. nails, yeah. but hardness goes hand in hand with brittle. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. So when nails become too hard, then they also break yeah. Yeah. too fast. Yeah. Yeah. So that is why we started to uh, yeah, play around and found the formulation for Seal and Protect. And today we're going to use Seal and Protect a couple of times. It is important that you always use Seal and Protect together with... Prep and wipe. Yeah, prep and wipe. Mm -hmm. And prep and wipe <coughs> is the dehydrant yeah. of the natural nail. Yeah. And why is that so important, Syriza? Uh, because it makes place for the uh, actual uh, product, the Seal and Protect. And uh, can you tell a little bit more about the connection that it has to make with uh, the Seal and Protect, that ingredient yeah, that's yes, inside? Uh, the prep and wipe is an acetate-based acetate. dehydrant. Thank you. <laughs> and the acetate is also <coughs> used in Seal and Protect as a solvent. Mm, yeah. And because these two are the same, by dehydrating the natural nail, you also prepare the way for yeah. the, the seal and protect to penetrate because the acetate will pull itself towards the dehydrated area yeah. that was dehydrated yeah. with acetate. Yeah. And that's in the lipophilic channels of the natural nail, so in the oil 
in the places where normally there would be oil. Yeah. Well, a very technical thing. We will yeah, go a yeah. little bit more <laughs> into it later. We have I'll an leave animation it to you. <laughs> for you. Um, Magda from Scotland, of course, our distributor for the UK. She's now also our our main distributor for the UK. She's a responsible person in the UK, and she shows us how to use Seal and Protect as a base, together with rubber base, I believe, yeah. mm -hmm. and with a shimmer, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, in the end. with a diamond dust. Yeah, in the end, yeah, yeah. In very the end. nice. Um, of course, this client, she filed away her side walls a little yeah. bit too much, so she needs strength, yeah. because otherwise, when yeah. it hits, it breaks. It breaks. Yeah. So she starts with using Seal and Protect, and let's see what she's doing. Yeah. So we can see here the natural nail and we can also see that it's slightly damaged. So she's using yeah. seal and protect on the one hand to slide easier with the cuticle pusher. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. lubricates the cuticle pusher. You mean prep and wipe it? Eh? The prep and wipe? Prep and wipe, yeah. And what is she doing now? She's removing the cuticle. Yeah, the non-living tissue. Yeah. Because of course you still need to remove the non-living tissue. Absolutely. And now really scrubbing the natural nail yeah. with prep and wipe. And most of the time you can also see that it really becomes white. And you also yeah. see the loose parts of the yeah. natural nail. Yeah. This is now the seal and protect. It's yeah. a smaller brush than mm -hmm. the gel polish. It's not an oval brush. And we chose that because you really want to have a precise application. Yeah. Yeah. And it goes in the twin light for 90 seconds. Then, this is important. Yeah, with a, with a clean wipe. Dry nail have wipe. To take, uh, with a, yeah, with a dry nail wipe you have to take off the residue. Yeah, be careful to... Not to touch the cuticles. So, that was it. That was Seal and Protect. Yeah. 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 And now she already goes to rubber base clear, yeah. but she uses a different brush. Why is that? Because this is a gel brush, easier for application. Yeah, and she's really... And it's very strong, so she is uh, uh, pushing it into the nail. natural nail. Yeah. yeah, and the surface. She's rubbing it in the surface. That was also cured, and now she's applying a second bead <laughs> to uh, get the arch of the nail. Yeah, the rubber base, and now she's using a frost pen to uh, guide the product over the... Uh, surface yeah. of the nail. Yeah. And with yeah, that she's light, only you can see that in this nail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with that light, you can see if it's really uh, even. Even. Thank you. Oh, there the beautiful yeah, the diamond dust shimmer. Yeah. Diamond dust. Yeah. And just to lift the nail up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think I would have chosen a nail plate extender color. Yeah, but maybe yeah, client just wants to keep her natural. Yeah, this nails, is really so. natural with a yeah. touch of. Now you don't see the very mm -hmm. damaged nail bed. So. No, it's 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 of course uh, hidden yeah. underneath all the product. Yeah, yeah. So that was a cool way of using it, and very you can easy, it's very yeah. easy, yeah. simple, yeah. very yeah. good for the nail. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The seal and protect because it was a damaged nail enhances the adhesion. Yeah. Because a damaged nail has uh, difficulties with adhering. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, because it's uh, it's thinner, so it's more flexible. And mm -hmm. it's layered so also. Yeah. So that's yeah. why it's it can always come loose when you put on product. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have a good at base adhesion, of course. Yeah, because the nail is yeah. doing a little bit like yeah. this, and so if you strengthen it, it's more it's better to uh, for an application of another yeah. acrylic. Yeah. So, curious to see how Seal and Protect actually works. We have a small animation of a natural nail, and of course the natural nail is built up of keratin cells, and the natural nail is about 100 layers thick of those 100 layers mm -hmm. of the keratin cells, but they are not one solid mass. No. They are the separate cells, and in between these cells we have channels that mm -hmm. transport oils, that transport yeah, water, water, and that is also what we have to remove during the prep, because that buildup of oil can actually push off the natural or artificial yeah. overlay. Yeah. If you then remove the, r the oil from the natural mm -hmm. nail using prep and wipe, you will actually dehydrate those channels mm -hmm. a little bit. I'm also making a dehydrating <laughs> movement. <laughs> and prepares understand? the way. <laughs> so let's have a look at what it actually does. Here we see the natural nail. It is damaged like the nail that Magda shows us. And here the seal and protect is applied on top of the surface of the nail. And you can see it lying on the nail and it slowly penetrates into the upper layers of the keratin cells. And there it forms non-soluble bonds with these cells. And then when it's exposed to UV or LED light, it cures inside the nail and the upper layer of the yep. natural nail actually becomes a polymer. So it is strengthened from within and ready for adhesion. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it looks great also. It, well, yeah, it's absolutely. invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. It's invisible, except when you have delaminated natural meals. Mm. So that is what you mentioned, the layers. Yeah. Yeah. Delamination is when the layers open up from yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. If you then apply Sion Protect, it closes and yeah. melts everything together yeah. again. Yeah. You yeah. don't have to remove the layers before. No. So. Some people always wanted to do that with a little file, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. But that's even more damaging yeah, to true. the nail. Yeah, because you're actually r scrubbing yeah. the surface yeah, yeah, yeah. bare. Yeah. And now it actually uh, glues yeah. everything together. Yeah. We also have seen on internet from many of our distributors and trainers photos from before and after yeah. where you can really see the difference of the natural nail and how strengthened and more beautiful it is. As a standalone surface, before we continue, as a standalone surface, what is the time frame that you should uh, schedule? Oh, and it? you ask you are asking me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, what do you advise um, your students? Uh, my, uh, like half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah. Prepping the nail. Yeah, prepping, filing a little bit, and uh, make it make it uh, yeah nice to look at and mm -hmm. uh, strengthen the nails. Like she's coming from the salon. She's coming from the salon, yeah. uh, but she don't have any artificial product. So make it uh, uh, make it even. Make all the nails even and uh, yeah, ready to go. And of course, you have to apply it more than once. You yeah. apply yeah. two to three times yeah. to strengthen the natural yeah. nail. So thirty minutes. Like thirty minutes, yes. But do it needs uh, does it need to be filled, no. repeated? Yeah, after a couple of weeks. After a couple of yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it uh, has the same outgrown as your own nail does. Yeah. So it's just all uh, you yeah, removed after a while. So you have to refill it. I think three, four weeks, maybe five mm. weeks. Yeah. Somewhere three around to that. five weeks. Yeah. It y depends. Yeah. And of course, then it saturates mostly the new grown nail, mm. and not so much the nail that was already no. treated because True. that was already strengthened. Yeah. Yeah. It is of course not a wonder product. You cannot make it super strong because it doesn't penetrate deeper yep. in the nail than we want it. It mm -hmm. never goes past those four or five no. upper layers. Yep. You don't want to over uh, saturate the natural yeah, but nail. It's always it good to have a, a little bit of flexibility in your own nails, of course, yeah. because yeah. when they get too hard, you break them easier. Yeah, and damage so them. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to have a long natural nail, then you need... Power gel. Or acrylics. <laughs> or acrylics. <laughs> or, uh, for instance, rubber base. Yeah, something like that. It will give it a little bit more strength. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then it can grow longer than your actual nails yeah. can grow. Yeah, and that's because we built a little bit of an apex mm -hmm. when yeah. we use uh, an artificial product. Yeah. Yeah. And that apex makes the nail more beautiful. Uh, true. And strong. And stronger. stronger. Yeah. And more even. More like even. Yeah. yeah. And you can do that even without filing, as Katharina <sighs> will show us. Here we see the natural nail, and again, it's slightly damaged. You can yeah. see the little bit of delamination, yeah. Yeah, so and, and that's a little very bit nice of artificial product. Yeah, on can the you edge. see it? Yeah, and in that place, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't uh, seep in. Prep that and wipe, prep and of wipe. course. Yeah. And now the seal protect. Don't touch the cuticle. No, no, that's very important. She stays like a millimeter away. Yeah, it's very important. And she holds the finger downward, huh? so that it doesn't seep yeah. even into true, the cuticle. True, true. And don't use too much product on the nail. Yeah, always wipe your brush yeah. before you yeah. go to the natural nail. Thank yeah. you, Deborah. That's very important. Ah, your favorite product. Yeah, the rubber base with a square uh, brush. Is and she now using the uh, cool cover the cool immediately? The yeah, I think so. The cool camouflage of the cool cover, and it looks already so much better. Yeah. And this the was second layer. And the second layer. Yeah. yeah. I work in that same way to give it another layer, a thin layer, and then your... Uh but now she goes to the brush from the, uh, from the bottle. Yeah, from the bottle. Yeah, true. So you can pick up a little bit more product and it's easier to, um, uh, to spread your product over the surface of the nail. Ah, yes. I and think. now she goes back uh, to the gel to brush. another brush, but that's an opinion. That's what you yeah. prefer. Oh, that's interesting yeah. to see, Katarina. That's what you prefer. I love to take a det uh, detailer tree, Yeah, I would think that the nail would be humpety bumpety. Yeah, but it's... No, but it's okay. But if you give it time... It's yeah. perfect yeah. leveling. It levels yeah. perfectly, yeah. And then a small brush... Yeah, to, the fresh uh, pen, to guide it. Uh, um, oh, Jessica's um, choice. Yeah, Jessica's, uh, Jessica's choice, I think, yes. And they pay close attention to wow. the side walls. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Very important. Perfect. And it's already, yeah, it's perfect. Very nice. 
Yeah, that was really a beautiful nail, a very natural looking nail. Yeah, very nice demo. And I think one of the most popular types of nails. For now, everybody wants to make this perfect nail. Yeah. And it's very difficult. Yeah, is the non-filing thing the difficult thing uh, or yeah. total? Uh, no, no, not the total, because it's so perfect leveling, the rubber base, it makes it very easy. But um, yeah, to make that perfect nail without filing, I think that's a struggle. can that be a struggle. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, first time I tried it, oh my God, it yeah. was not a success. <laughs> no. I thought I can do it without filing. Yeah. I discovered I need to file. But um, I think the most... The thing that most nail technicians find uh, or don't pay enough attention to is the hairline. Oh, because that's they have true. a tendency to make it too thin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even with filing, uh, they make it a little bit uh, yeah, too thin or too thick. It's, mm -hmm. it's uh, one of those. But with the natural nail, of course, you have a tendency to make it as thin as the natural yeah, nail. Yeah, but it needs a little bit of strength. Yeah. So we have to make it yeah, even yeah, a little bit more. Uh, it's not your natural nail, so no. don't forget that. No. So you have to make a little bit of strength, especially on that, uh, uh, on that place, because otherwise it's going to chip as well. Yeah. If so you don't remember, have if you want to have a longer natural nail and you want to uh, protect it from a uh, with a product on top of it, you need enough product yeah. to pro be able to protect it. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, sure. it won't work. So yeah. the hairline needs to be how thick? How thin? Uh, oh, that's very difficult. Uh, depends a little bit on the uh, on, on, on the, the shape, shorty? but. Uh, like a like a credit card. Yeah, a credit card. Yeah, even on that short nails. And super square is that smart to do on a oh, super short nail? Well, no, because our natural nail is not uh, uh, growing as square as we want to have yeah. that. So uh, it can be a problem. Uh, square is not for everybody. If you have a square growth yourself, it's okay. But if you don't have that, don't try too much. And even the sharp square, the real sharp corners, you will lose them anyhow. Yeah, it's g yeah because of course. just. Yep. soften it a little bit because otherwise your clients will also call you and tell you hey listen my square nails are not square anymore yeah that's true <laughs> well if you tell them you need to soften it a little bit because you will lose the corner then it's no problem no then it's no problem it's 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 very perfect to wear in a shape like that do you that. think there are special life hacks that we can use to create a super square nail uh, like yeah. soaking in ammonia? I think so, but I think Deborah knows more about that. Yeah, let's go to Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we went on socials, of course, this week about the hacks of nails. And, well, there are a lot of crappy things you can do with your nails and don't let them grow. So let's look at the first one. She's thinking she can let her nails grow while putting, in, putting them in warm water with citron, with uh, lemon, like. Uh, but the only thing what this is good for is to lose fat. <laughs> so when you drink a glass in the morning, <laughs> that's the only <laughs> thing what it works for. So uh, it doesn't work. Let's go to the next one. And uh, this is when you put on like olive oil on your nails. Will it grow? Uh, no, <laughs> it will not. <laughs> Maybe you can, uh, if you want to bake your fingertips, then it will work, but it will not make them grow. Also, not jojoba oil. It, uh, it doesn't work, oil. So, uh, use the really natural treatment oils for your nails. Those are the only ones who will work, not the things you use in your kitchen. So, okay. let's go to the next social. If you're trying to grow your natural nails, listen. So obviously I wear press on nails. I don't really worry about my natural nails too, too much, but my Nana has the most beautiful nails. Her natural nails are strong, they're long, amazing. And she taught me an amazing trick to always keep my nails healthy and long and like beautiful underneath. So the only thing she claims to do for these beautiful nails is when she's in the shower, she takes a nail brush like this, you can get them off Amazon, and she brushes like along her cuticles. So like at the base of her nails, she just scrubs her nails every time she showers. And like, I have never seen anybody else with like natural nails that amazing, that strong, like they're thick. Her tips are like naturally white. Like they're healthy AF. Like I've never seen like nails that healthy. So get yourself a nail brush. You can get them at like the dollar store and stuff, I'm sure too. But brush them in the shower every time you're in there and you'll have nice, healthy, natural nails. Well, I'm going to try this, Deborah. Well, don't try. It's completely bogus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but, but I want to get natural... Yeah. 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 I think you scrub your whole skin off if you do that like every day. Yeah. Or oh, you so. can do that, Papa. It is, of course. It does massage the yeah. matrix a little bit. Yeah, yeah but don't okay. do it too hard with like a brush. Those brushes are way too hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just use your own fingers to yeah. massage, massage it. Yeah. And then massage in, of course, the cuticle oh, oil. Yeah. yeah, of course. 
I and not olive oil. And not olive oil, no. but jojoba oil is actually a carrier oil that you see in a lot of cuticle mm -hmm. oils because jojoba oil is a very small molecule that's able to pull the other essential oils into the natural nail, but in itself it, it has no added no. bones. No. No, no, you no. want to combine it with vitamin E, yeah. mm -hmm. you want to combine it with primrose yeah. evening oil. Yeah. Yeah. So there are different options for that. Yeah. Did you already subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find our show? And the YouTube channel is Magnetic Nail Talk. Put on the notification and subscribe because then at least you see all of the demos and all of the shows that we make. And we make I make this, of course, together with all of you. Yeah, and we have more because we also have our Insta page and, of course, we have our Facebook, Magnetic Nail Talk, yeah. of Magnetic Nails. Magne Nail magnetic yeah. Nails. Yeah. And we have Nail Talk Live. Yeah, yeah. and also yeah. starting up a TikTok. A so. TikTok also. Yeah. We have a lot of socials, a lot to do, a lot of ground nice. to cover. And if you ever want to know more information, just send a, an email to magneticnaildesign.com, info at magneticnaildesign.com, and we can help you. Yeah. So, that was our... Um, socials. Yeah. It always puts me off a little bit, the socials. Yeah, me too. Whole, <laughs> did I d remember this and did I remember that? Yeah, so true. we started a year ago, a year and a half ago, you came to me and you said, Pepijn, yeah. hello. Yeah, I want to have this in a jar. And you want to have it in a bottle. Yes, please. Oh yeah, that was the whole, the the whole, whole beginning. Thing. Because we first have the bottles, but after that the jars, of course. Of what? That's true. Uh, of the rubber base, sorry, the rubber base, of course. And what is rubber base? What makes it so unique? Yeah, well, the rubber base has uh, is all is an adhesion and a perfect self-leveling, mm -hmm. um, very strong but also very flexible. I think every every good thing in one bottle ah. to make a, a, a short nail, natural nail. Uh, Can more strong. we say that it's a must-have product in the Yeah, salon? I think so. Can think we so. say perhaps that you can win any race with rubber base? Of course, on these short nails, you can use rubber base, but you can also combine rubber base with other products. Of course, yeah, like every product. Also acrylics. Yeah. Also acrylics, yeah. but yeah. you can also do, for instance, a rubber base natural nail overlay and then yeah. make a nice shimmering free edge. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, with a little silver. silver. With a little silver, a little mm. bit gold. Mm. That would be what nice. What would be the best product to use? Liner silver, of course. Liner silver. Wow. You know, we have a demo for you with the liner silver done by... Uh, Natalia. Natalia. Yeah. Again, seal and protect. Yeah. This natural nail also has a little bit of damage. Yeah. But you can see the moment it's applied, it smooths out and yeah. it becomes a little bit, um, yeah, it becomes better. Yeah. Oh, she's taking And Natalia off the likes excess. to use the wipe to remove the excess also yeah. before curing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. The shape of this natural nail is nice. Yeah, I love yeah, it. It's gorgeous. It's a little bit soft square. So we're taking off the residue. And she folds the, uh, the nail wipe yeah. to, have to be always clean. have it. Yeah. yeah. Rubber base clear. Yeah. Oh, the flower brush is also a good idea to. Uh, yeah, you uh, can really use any brush. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Everybody's using different brushes. Yeah, it has to be very, uh, very strong, so that you can really uh, rub it into the nail surface. Into, yeah, that's yeah. true. So thin layer. <coughs> this nail is very damaged. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I also have this, that my natural meal dehydrates a little yeah. bit mm -hmm. when I wear artificial product. Yeah. That's why the camouflage colors are so perfect. Yeah, absolutely. And this is absolutely my favorite. It's the cool cover rubber base, of course, because you can see it hides immediate yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah, and gone. Yeah. And it's also better to use the brush, uh, because I think it's better to use the brush, uh, then you can take a little bit more product. And it's softer. And it's softer also. So yeah. it's like feathering. Yeah, true. And we need that. Always. Yes, she's creating like a nail bed now. Yeah, yeah she beautiful. is. So she's working in the smile line yeah. area. Yeah, but that North Natural Nail is absolutely perfect for this. Yeah, it's perfect. It's a beautiful natural nail. And I see yeah. also that it's a strong nail. Yeah. Because yeah. we can see the that it has a deep curve. Yeah. It's a little bit arched, so we know you can wear this nail. Mm -hmm. So our, she's not going to file this later. No, no, no. To sharpen the smile. And she's just going to go immediately with the liner silver. Liner silver. Yeah, and does that contain real silver? Liquid I silver. Yeah. Yeah. Liquid silver. And it's very covering also. Always stir it a little bit no, before you use it. Yeah, because yeah, the particles yeah. are on the bottom of yeah, the jar. They're heavier. Yeah. Also with the gold, you need yeah. even more stirring and over there. And that's even more, more beautiful, oh, perhaps. Yeah. And I think for this, the thrush pen is the best uh, brush to take because we need a little bit more strength. Yeah. Uh, because that liner gel is a little bit uh, stirred. How do you say that? Stiff. Stiff. Thank yeah. you. So you yeah, need a tougher gel. Yeah. You need a little bit of strength. I look already beautiful like this. Yeah. Very nice. But I want to emphasize again that this natural nail is perfect for mm -hmm. this. If yeah. you want to do this on a client with less than beautiful nails, use a little bit more clear rubber base underneath yeah. mm -hmm. to build up the structure a bit. Yeah. But of course, liner gel silver also adds a little bit of strength. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. And also uh, when you put a little top over it, everything together makes the nail a little bit stronger. Supreme finish. Mm -hmm which is thick enough to cover and even it. Yeah. And it has the bright UV filter, so the yeah, silver even intensifies yeah, a true. little bit. Very beautiful nail. And yeah. here we can see wow. the single yeah, nail. I wish I had those nails on my own. No, and because without you want filing, modern eh? element. No, I mean the natural nails And of without my own. filing. Beautiful. Yeah, the natural nails are perfect. And then put on a Russian almond. Look, Look at yeah. this. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, really nice. Natalia, you outdid yourself yet again. Love you. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> very nice. You just know how to take it and make it just simple, elegant, and very feminine. Yeah, yeah. And, and so True. perfect. Yeah, nice. Perfect. I want to wear that. Uh, I would like to wear that as well. Yeah. So, Natalia, when you come back to the Netherlands, you know what I'm asking you to do. <laughs> I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the liner gels. As we mentioned, we have silver and we have gold. Let's have a look. And of course, we also have black and white. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. They are not in this commercial, but it's the same idea. Yeah. Although the black and white liner gel are more for paint on mm -hmm. and yeah. painting yeah. and hand painting. Yeah. Softer, structure's a little bit softer. Yeah, but also more intensely pigmented. Oh, true. Oh, That's absolutely, true. yeah. While so the silver and gold, of course, because it's clear mm -hmm. with the yeah. silver or the yeah. gold particles, yeah. has more a, an almost a shimmering effect. Yeah, yeah but it's very good to use in your nails. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Make the Beautiful. nail art work in between, so. Yeah, in between the layers. In between the layers, yeah. That's her thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 20 million layers and we are done. Yeah, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> uh, we have... Uh, I'm in the mood for some art. Oh, yes. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Because this was the step up to art. Mm -hmm. uh, who's going to... What are we having now? Uh, Diana is going to show us a very nice short nail with a beautiful nail art. With stamping nail stamping art. Stamping nail art, yeah. And that's Diana Karimova. So Ooh. enjoy.
She's using the easy trainer. Yeah. So this is not a Leukonychia nail bed. <laughs> and she's working with the cool cover again. Yeah. We also have a warm cover. In case you're wondering, we also have a warm cover. Yeah, but this one is more covering. Yeah, it's yeah. more covering, the cool one. Yeah, it's intenser color. Yeah, especially also now on the white surface. Yeah. Eh? It intensifies it yeah, even it more. Yeah, chooses the right color for this one indeed. Second layer. A second coat. So like this, we have perfectly uh, natural nail. Oh, no, we need more. Yeah. Yeah, creating the apex. Yeah. It's very self-leveling. Yeah, be perfect. careful you not to use it. too much. Yeah, that's true. And pay attention that the apex is in the right area. Yeah. And we can see perfect. now that the hairline is also what we mentioned, not too thick. No, not, and so not too thin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, stamping. Always nice. Which card is it? Vintage. The vintage. Oh. With vintage design, like the uh, pocket watch. Great. Yeah, especially with this color underneath. It's a yeah, good yeah, combination. It also gives it a little bit of a bridal feel. Yeah, true. And then, of course, the leathering. Yeah. I love the leathering. Line it here white for more details. Dotskis. Yeah, Malinka Dotskis. <laughs> and you can touch up everything with the yeah, liner white. Of Joe. course. Only the this mod effect would makes be a it even more different. perfect. Yeah. Difficult. Oh, yeah. Oh, so she covered it with extreme mud and yeah. now she makes last accents yeah, on top of it. Yeah, highlights. Yeah, gorgeous. Cool. And she's using Jessica's choice or Katarina's choice? I think Jessica's choice. Yeah, Jessica's choice. We always have the product list with us because sometimes yeah, the most it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot, and <laughs> sometimes uncommon combinations are used. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. how oh, this is just beautiful. Lovely. Very nice. Yeah, a beautiful demo and Absolutely. very wearable. Huh? Very, yeah. I think everyone would like to wear some li nails like this. So. Yeah, perhaps in combination yeah. with the baby boom. Baby boom or just natural pink only. Yeah. yeah, cool. I think it would be a great combination. She chooses to use uh, for the stamping system the next top and uh, the next nail yeah. polish. Yeah, um, <coughs> But you could also use liner gel. Yeah, but I think for the handwriting, I think the polish would be better to see the letters good. Because mm. it would be too thick or maybe get into each other. So I think the polish is the best Is the way. intensity uh, similar? Uh, the liner white is a little bit more white. so A little bit yeah. more white because it's also a little bit thicker. Yeah, yeah, it has a little bit more pigments in it. So that would be more intense white. That's why she highlighted afterwards with the white also, the liner ah. white. Okay, cool. Yeah. Before we go to our last demo, Syriza has some socials. Yes, I have. I went on Instagram and on TikTok because, yeah, well, natural nails and rubber base, C1 Protect, it's actually very hard to find. But if you look close, if you pay good attention, you can find a lot of things that uh, uh, for this topic right now. So let's see the first one. This I saw, and I think this is the most perfect way uh, that you prep your nails when you want to... Um, when you, when you want to use the rubber base. So perfect, clean uh, cuticles, very nice, even a more perfect natural nail. So I think this is the best prep uh, you can make for that. So let's see the next one. This one is from Natalia, and uh, this is very nice because you actually can see uh, first the damaged nail, and then after, yeah, um, cool. yeah the one that uh, uh, yeah, the, the nail that the has nail the seal and protect already mm -hmm. uh, in it. It's in it, so it's very nice uh, to show, yeah, everybody, your, uh, um, your clients, what Sion Protect does. So I think that's very important. And the last one I found from Miriam, and she, make, uh, she makes a short nail from an artificial nail, then file it, and she's cleaning uh, the cuticle very nice because yeah, you have to for a perfect effect. And after that, she's going to cut it. Don't try this at home if you don't, uh, uh, if you no, don't follow any course. Yeah. And she used now the rubber base and uh, one little bead, and she is guiding it over the uh, surface of the natural nail. Very perfect. And I think the only thing you have to do is just file the shape of the nail. And that's it. Let's see the Beautiful. end result. I think that was the warm, eh? This is yeah, the warm, warm color. camouflage. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's the best color. one. Warm color. Yeah, very soft color. Mm -hmm. End result. Yeah. Very beautiful uh, natural nail with a little bit more strength. 
Oh, I especially like that last one oh, me that too. Miriam made. So natural. So na but what makes it so natural? Oh, the, uh, the tone looks like the color of the skin, so that's very matching. So you always have to find the perfect match for the skin yeah, tone absolutely. of the client. Yeah. And everybody has different skin tones, as you can see in our group. And finding yeah. the perfect match is what really sets the technician apart. Absolutely. And when your that's client right. has that perfect match, she doesn't want to go to any other nail tech, no. tech yeah. anymore because that's her perfect match. Yeah. Well, I'm in the mood for nail art. Me too. I love nail art. Yeah, me too. So we have some nail art by Joanna from yeah. Ireland. Yeah. And what is she making? She's going to create a perfect marble nail. A marble nail? Yeah, oh, absolutely cool. gorgeously stunning. We love marble, eh? Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, love so it. let's get marbled. So Joanna first applied the thin coat of Sium Protect and she's now removing the residue and she applies the form underneath the natural nail yep. because she's going to elongate the natural nail a little bit. Yeah, because you can do that with rubber base, that's yeah. no problem. Not oh. too long. Not, Not too, too long? long. No, so no. what would be an advisable length? Well, one third maybe of the nail bed. So let's say three to four millimeters? Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, As cool. Especially on this short nail, of course. Yeah. Oh, what is she using? She's that's using fiber coat whites. Fiber yeah. coat white, yeah. and I don't think the extreme white, but the natural white. Yeah, that's the natural whites, yeah. So really it seems it. to be like an 80s French manicure now. Yeah, yeah. Or the start of, uh, of a baby boom. Yeah. And now she's going to pull it into the natural nail a little bit. Yeah. So it is a baby boom. Yeah. And the frosted pink is now being used. All like milky colors. Yeah, milky colors. Yeah, very nice. No, this is the still the white. It's yeah. it's still oh, it's still white. I made yeah. a mistake, sorry. So it's a very thin coat of the natural white. And the white nails are, of course, a trend. But yeah. she's not going to leave it as it is now. Because she has something cool for us. Yeah, this is it's a nice not technique. not cured. Yeah, this is cool. You yeah. did it as well. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love it too. Yeah. Great effect. This technique, yeah. So Thank the cling fill in the wet coat yeah. of gel. Be careful, don't pushing that you don't push the gel into the cuticle yeah, nope. after curing you can remove it and now it looks like nothing really happened yeah, true. but the trick is that when you apply more on top of this then all of a sudden it comes to life yeah. so we have here the palest pink gel polish the salmon and oh, a lot of colors yeah so and she's just oh a little bit of red also and she's just humping and bumping that into the nail. Yeah. It looks a little bit uh, crazy, but afterwards going to be yeah, a the end result perfect is going to be result. crazy. Yes. Just oh, very nice. Gold. A little bit of leaf gold. Yeah, 24 karat leaf gold. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. Well, cool. I have to say, I don't understand this yet. <laughs> you have to see the end result. It's very nice. Yeah, because it, it's almost like a Van Gogh. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And because of the lines. You yeah. Mean. Yeah. Impressionistic, mm -hmm. an um, impressionistic marble design. Yeah, a little bit of uh, white. And she's pushing that into uh, the yeah. ridges. Yeah, yeah. And your clients think right now, oh my God. And why, she, but uh, what, 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 why? Uh? Yeah, now she's going to cap everything. With white? Yeah, yeah. because she needs why to not? fire <laughs> it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you have to see the end results. Okay, Joanna, mm -hmm. you are really making me very anxious. Mm -hmm. what, is, what are you doing? It's well always this a already muted a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's almost like a milk bath nail, uh, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That's true, that's true. But there is more system yeah. in a milk bath nail, in my view. So she's going out now to file the surface. Yeah, just buffing it a bit. And that means that it opens up the, the, the ridges and the lines. Yeah, you can see the layers in the nail better. Yeah, like because this. of filing, you see the uh, see little bits of white a coming little more bit of line of gold. Uh, oh, cool. Front. A little bit of line of gold around yeah. the cuticle. Oh, that's cool. It's a nice accent. And supreme finish. Yeah. And now you can see the effects. Ah, mm. a lot of depth. Yeah. It's just amazing. Because of the milky. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you really have to know this. Yeah. Wow. I've never seen something like this. I did. You did? Of course. And she did too. I did too. Okay, but <laughs> I don't have it's time the next for generation. All of that. It's the next generation. 
Okay, <laughs> this was really beautiful <laughs> and elegant, and I hope we inspired you with all the possibilities of the products made for those natural nails. Let's remember Seum Protect, the professional nail hardener that hardens the nail from the inside out. Yeah. Be careful yeah. not to touch the skin. Yeah. Rubber base for of that course. easy application. Mm -hmm. The perfect yeah. curves yeah. where yeah. you want them. <laughs> so. A lot, did, uh, a lot to do, but next week we also have a lot to do. Yeah, mm. hand painting, eh? Hand painting. Oh my God, so hand painting. We need Jessica also. Yeah, we need yeah. Jessica yeah. here Team as well. With the because those two are, well, I'm also very good at hand painting back in the day. <laughs> oh, no, you are. Yeah, well. It's but like what riding are we a bike. Going to, uh, we have different types of designs. So what do we have? We have macaroons from <laughs> Paris. Nice. Yeah, tigers and some eagles. eagles. <laughs> and there's a lot to do. Yeah, and we even much. have a Scottish tartan plate. So yeah. we're Ooh. going all the the, the the tartan way. Are you going to nice. wear one next week also then? Oh, why not? Yeah, do. do oh, well, no, because then you see a full moon. But we <laughs> show <laughs> that on the nail. Also. So we have a lot to do. Join us next week on Friday. Nail Talk Live, the international version all about hand painting. See you then. See you at Nail, nail Talk, Talk Live. Bye-bye.